can't move me that long because basically I can't watch the video because I only have one device made by Apple. So basically, um, it's a good game. I'm gonna be playing the episode one of it and hope you enjoy. Yeah, I will be gone now. Hello, Mr. Sharp here. Okay, wait. I shouldn't have said that because I'm just continuing off the base cam. Okay, so basically in this video, I guess I'll be playing Silent Age Night or something like that. I forget what it's called because I can't quit because it will just do that stupid thing. Okay, so I don't really think there's fighting in this game. This is just episode one. I will be playing this throughout the whole time. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and then... Yeah, I basically I'm turning on the light. <laughs> so basically, this game is where you like you gotta figure out like where to go. Like eventually, I don't. Okay, I'm not gonna spoil it until I'm there, which is not actually spoiling it when I'm there. But yeah, this game's just really cool, and you can't hate it. <laughs> I'm kidding. You aren't dumb at all, you. Alright, yeah. The secretary, I'll stop talking right now. I, uh... Mm-hmm. Oh, there you are, sweetie. Mr. Hill's expecting you. Just walk right in. What's the matter, sugar? Can't got your tongue? Just get your honey in there. Ah, Jasper. It's... it's Joe, sir. Ah, of course, Joseph. Uh, how long is it that you've been with this company, Joseph? About two years, sir. Ah, yes, then by now you must know that what we do here is very important. National security may be just a word to most people, Jasper, but for men like you and I, it means so much more. We see the people behind those words. We understand that it means the safety of every citizen in this country, not to mention the shareholders and the hard-working clerks and stakeholders at the government funding agencies. It also means a lot of pressure. A lot. And some men just... buckle. Which brings me to the main point of my agenda. A position just opened up, and we're promoting you, Jasper. It... it I'm... Sir? Don't think the company doesn't notice its hard-working employees. We reward achievement in this organization, young man. And you've just made yourself a gold star. This means that from now on, you will be in charge of not only yours, but Frank's assignments, too. That's right. That means downstairs lab sanitation, drain assignments, the works. With all the clearance that entails, that's a lot of responsibility we're investing in you, Jasper. I, I thank you, sir. Uh, but what about Frank? I know you made a great team, but Frank decided to pursue a different career path this morning. We wish him all the best. Oh, and of course you understand that we won't be able to present you with a fancy title or a measurable pay raise. This is a modern company, you understand. We like to keep a flat organizational structure here. I... So congratulations, Jasper. I bet you must be very excited to get back to work with all your new responsibilities. That's perfectly understandable. I won't keep you a minute longer. Here's your key card. Okay, I'm back. Well, that was after some of the talking. The only reason why I wasn't talking in between there was because, you know, the guy talked right after the secretary. Um, I hate the promotion thing. Why wouldn't he pay me? Oh, that's stupid. Yeah, but the game starts getting really weird once I get to the next part of it. Hmm, um, I don't really have anything to talk about right now, so, 
mostly, if I'm a little bit silent for a bit, don't be that bad. I'm mostly just, yeah. Not talking. Oh yeah, okay, so I just accessed the lab. It's gonna start getting weird. Cause, you know, it's a lot weird. Which is obviously not a good sign. Because, actually I'm not even sure if there's any fighting yet. Because, yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'm in the lab now. Just going over there. It's a big company. I'm not sure it does. <laughs> well, I'm not sure either, buddy. Okay. Come in the back in place. Okay, so it's back in place. Okay, so this is where it starts getting weird. There's so much blood on the ground, so I need a, a thing. So now wipe it up. Wipe it up! Soaked up some of the blood. Okay. Take it back to the management then, buddy. <sighs> yeah, but this will be a new series that I'm doing. Just so you know. Hurry up, get over there, buddy. <laughs> nice one too, yeah, I get it. It's a pretty hmm. nice one for that. Yeah, the hatch is open. Okay. So now I'm gonna be going Back up the stairs. Okay, in a second, I'm gonna stop talking in three, two, one. Um, M Miss Goulet? Mm hmm. Uh, uh, some, something's bad. The downstairs handkerchief has basement all over the blood. Uh, no, I, I mean. Good heavens, sugar. That rag's got blood all over. Have you hurt yourself again? No, no, it, it's... <sighs> we keep telling you boys to follow company safety policy. I send out mammals almost every week. I honestly don't know why I bother sometimes. You may look like capable grown men in those boiler suits, but you're really just big boys, ain't you? But I'm not the one who... No need to explain. Let me just take care of that for you. Now, let's see what Gloria has for you here. Ooh, nice clean band-aid. Just go wash up and put that on. You'll be as good as new. But... Now run along, you little scamp. Alright, I'm back again. Yes, the secretary. Didn't believe me and I couldn't finish my sentence because my god's an idiot! Yeah, he is quite an idiot. Okay, so I guess it starts getting weird here. I'm getting kind of close to the end of the video, I guess. This guy talks for a really long time. So we got. Oh, I should have said that. Oh my gosh. Felt weird all day. <laughs> Get in there, already, dummy. By the way, I've already played this one, so that's why I know what to do. The next episode, I've played a little bit of it. Okay. Sensors are done. <sighs> Mister, are you all right? You're you're bleeding. Huh. That's that's a lot of blood. Stay right here. I'll go get help. No! Don't... Don't get anyone. Are you alone? I I'm not sure what... I asked you a question. Are you alone? Yes. Yes, I came down here by myself. Good enough. Listen. <coughs> I'm shot mad. 
I don't have a lot of time, but I'm also not important. At least this version of me isn't. What's important is that you understand what I am about to tell you now. Should, should I be writing this down? I don't have anything to write with. Shut up and pay attention! You're standing on the brink of an extinction-level event, set in motion by greedy half-wits that will eventually end the lives of every man, woman, and child on the planet. I know this because I'm partially to blame, and though I realized our folly in time, less sane and more senior heads prevailed. I have arrived from forty years into the future to prevent it from happening. Things are obviously vastly more complex than this, but for lack of time to explain this properly to an insufficiently primed recipient intellect, I am what you would probably perceive as a time traveler. Mister, you've obviously lost a lot of blood. Quiet! <laughs> I have planned this out in every detail for the better part of my life. And I'll be damned if I will let it fail because of a single gun-toting overachieving parking attendant who wasn't where he was supposed to be at this point in time. <coughs> Thankfully, you look fleeceable enough to be coaxed into performing one simple task for me. I... I want you to find me, and tell me about this event before I depart for the past. You'll need this. What is this? It is a portable, interdimensional, planar membrane chronosync instrument. It's a goddamn time machine, okay? For reasons you'll quickly come to realize. The device runs on solar rechargeable batteries. Despite this, I want you to keep it hidden until you're out of town. Don't let anyone see you with it, especially in here. Mister, between the blood and all this space talk, you're making me quite dizzy. I'm not sure how I can help you other than by calling security and getting you to an ambulance. Just take the damn device and find me. You find me, you hear? <laughs> <laughs> Go! <coughs> Go! Mister? Mister? Help! Help! I need help in here! Okay, bye, Mr. Sharp's gone. Bye-bye. Stay right there, sir. Listen, you gotta help me. There's a guy in there. He, there's a lot of blood. He needs help. I said, stay right there. But I, but I work here. You know me. I Keep your hands where I can see them. Palms flat against the wall. Spread your legs. The police are on.